women are sitting in a Starbucks, sipping their coffee, having a great conversation, and you overhear one of them say, sometimes I wake up grumpy, and sometimes I just let him sleep. Well, today, even if you woke up grumpy, Psalm 105, 1 through 8, calls upon you to give thanks to the Lord and call on His name make known his deeds among the peoples. Can you imagine uh, thousands of people gathered to sing this song in the days of the psalmist and they're thanking God for all of God's goodness and making known his deeds among the people. They're publishing it. Sing to him, it says. Sing praises to him and speak of all his marvelous works glory in his name in the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice actually that's let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice search for the Lord and his strength continually seek his face that's an assignment for you this morning to rejoice in the knowledge that you are searching for the truths of God and the presence of God. You are seeking out God's strength for the day, for the challenges of the day, for the struggles of the day, for the work that you have to do today. And continually throughout the day, you'll be seeking the face of God. You'll be looking for the presence of God in every circumstance, in every word, in every conversation, in every moment of discovery. You will remember the marvels that God has done, the wonders of his judgments, the judgments of his mouth. Every word that comes from the mouth of God is of value and is uh, powerful. Uh, o offspring of Abraham, his servant, O children of Jacob, his chosen, he is the Lord our God. His judgments prevail in the world. Can you imagine that protesting little child who doesn't want to get up and go to bed and the parent is reasoning with the child and very gentle with the child and yet picks the child up and carries that child to bed even though the child is protesting. So it is with our protests against God and against God's ways, God's judgments prevail. No matter what our protests, no matter what our beliefs, no matter what our objections, he has always been mindful of his covenant, the promise he has made for a thousand generations. And like that parent taking that child to bed and, and putting that child to bed or uh, saying enough is enough or don't run into the street, God is keeping God's covenant with us and has our best interests in mind. Give thanks to the Lord and call on his name, make known his deeds among the people. <laughs>